Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and here are some recent things I bought First is the Make Your Own Floral Wreath and also I've got some more embroidery threads and an embroidery hoop to practice I have started the video but I've not completed it so I do enjoy it but it does take a while so they're my recent makes but first I'm going to do the Make Your Own Floral Wreath so we're gonna make this floral wreath. Um, I got this from Home Baggins, and it was, I would say, about three pound, four pound, and I was interested in it, and I was wondering if I could do something with it. So let's see what I can make with it, and if it will look like this. So let's open it and see what's inside. some stuff in already so open it it has some instructions to make your own floral wreath and I feel like these by the looks of it it has better instructions than the macrame set because obviously they have images which show you like how to do something because I feel like as a visual learner I'm more interested in having instructions with images so I could see what am I actually trying to do so yeah so we got instructions we've got some fake leaves I think that, that's quite pretty got a flower have to be careful if we don't rip it we've got another plant We've got the wire, we've got another flower, we've got some little flowers, and we've got some smaller wires, and I believe that these are to attach the plants on. So let's see what I need to do. So the, this beautifully decorated delicate wreath is a quick and easy to assemble and perfect accent to any home or office space because it's made with fox flowers or fake flowers and greenery it can be displayed all year round and will stand the test of time a great craft activity for beginners obviously it's age 14 plus so i qualify um so yeah so by the looks of it, I need like two um, pieces of wire. So I'll cut out one wire and then cut out another one. So let's find some scissors. I've only got me um, nail scissors for now. So we can't find the other ones. So this can be the first wire. It's like it doesn't tell you, I don't think, how big you need to make it. So I even though there's like instructions, I feel like it'll be better to just do my own style with it. So if I sh use the instructions as a guide, I should be able to figure it out. So, like, curve like that. Then on the other side, there's another curve. So, you, so, 
I'll be like twisting it. Different. But we fold it in. I've worked with wire before but I never could get the hang of it. So it's good that I'm thinking about doing this. I feel like twisting it makes it more stronger. I do feel like I might not need scissors the way this is going. that looks like similar to the image it's a bit wobbly but i feel like once i put the other bits of wire so i've still got all these to make it stronger it'll look more better so Even though it's like a straightforward process, it, it's kind of fiddly because this wire is fairly long and it'd be hard to manoeuvre if you're going in and out of the hoop. So it's like when you do plaits with like long hair, it always gets tangled at the bottom. So just trying to weave it out as easy. Make it easy as you can. I thought I'd talk along with this process instead of doing a voiceover because I can use my exact thoughts at the time.
I have got my own ivy that I could add to it, but we'll see what I can do with these um, flowers that came with this. So as you can see it, uh, it's more sturdy so I'm going to do another one now we do another one I've got two left and I'll see if I need to use these two when this is finished The way I'm doing it does look a bit different from the image because the wire looks like they've only done it once but obviously it's telling you to do more wire. I don't know. But I feel like it's up to the person who's doing it that if they believe that they could, they need more wire to secure it. I am trying to do like take up new craft activities that I wouldn't normally do that's why I showed you some more embroidery thread because I have started it I haven't I filmed the introduction of it but I've not completed it because it is time consuming so I don't know whether to release the video of me starting it and then do like a series of me doing a certain embroidery slash cross stitch thing Yeah, I might. my looks bit more bendy though for where the joint is. I have fixed it that side, but I feel like it needs it on this side. I not the camera.
it looks more sturdy now as you can see I have, have I have one more wire left and I'm don't know whether to use it but I feel like it'll be alright without it so I'm gonna make sure it's more circular so let's move it bits out the way so I need to decide whereabouts I want to do it I might do it where it's more thicker because it would be more sturdier then I might cover that part so I'm gonna lay it out and see what I can do do that. So let's open the small wire. This smaller wire is a lot thinner than the wire make, made for the reef as obviously the reef wire needs to be thicker for more sturdiness just put that there bit of it fell off but I could use that so let's see I've threaded um, the smaller wires through the flower and it's come out in the middle so I've folded it as you can see just bent it so as I pull it it won't come out And I'll do the same again for this flower. So 
that's poked through as well so I'll just bend it like loop it a bit so obviously it's not moving so I'll put that And I think it works again for this. So we thread it through. So this is what I made so far and I have some spare wires so I'm going to secure these screen bits a bit more. Also going to use this wire as well. Oh, I'm not gonna use it because I haven't got strong enough scissors. I feel like it turned out really well.
I have got some ribbon, so just looking to see which one I can choose. I'm saying I'm going to use purple or pink, especially the ones that I've got because it's a bit too much. Blue's a bit too much. Purple's nice, but it's a bit too much. Obviously, it's not going to be Christmas. That rules out when. So, you're not going to be flamingos, so. It's either this silver or this um, glitter one. That's a bit too thick. So it's either this two. I feel like silver will work well with it. So I quite enjoyed doing this um, craft activity, so this is the final outcome and I'm quite pleased with it. So obviously I've attached the ribbon at the top for like a little hook to make it easier to hang. So you could do this yourself, so all you need is like wire, fake plants and you're good to go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!